we're gonna be evaluating, we're gonna be comparing two juicers today, Omega Cortex 365, right here, and then Puram Ash 200. The model number is written at the bottom, so I'm gonna lift it a little bit so you can see it. You see it? Okay, great. So we're gonna be evaluating these two models on the juicing ability, like how much juice they, do they extract from the same amount of watermelon. I'm gonna put the aside. Here I am, this is Omega 365. This is $150 juicer, by the way. This is $600, $700 juicer. Uh, $600, there was a discount on it on Amazon, so I got it for $600. And this is 330 grams of watermelon, same 330 grams, cut into longer pieces so that they can go through the shoe. It has a very small shoe. This one has an advantage, we all know. The advantage is it has a very big shoot. You can put the whole pieces in it. You can put the whole watermelon. You can put the whole uh, the pineapple in it. Here you have a small shoot. I can show you the size of the shoot. Right here, very small. So it's pretty small, but we're gonna be actually evaluating those on the, on the amount of juice that they would extract out of 330 grams of watermelon. So let's start. Let me start juicing this one. using this pressure. I'm gonna use a small trick. So this is what I found online with Omega. You can put the whole pulp back in and that will give you really good results. By the way, just did the same test with bottle guard. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share the results with you in a while, in a short while right after I share the results of watermelon juicing with it. See how much juice is coming out in the second one? It's not negligible. It would have been more had, you know, because so much is cut also, but that's fine. All right. I'm gonna try to run it in reverse. Juicing is largely complete. You want to run it again? Alright, it has a lot of juice in it. Alright. Finally our juicing is complete. Rest is stuck inside by the way. Alright. This is the level right here. All right, so I put it here on a flat surface. I just want you to see the juice on sideways. And then I put it for you. If you can read it, if you can, I'm gonna read it as between eight to 12, somewhere a little below. So I'm gonna call it 8.33. It's like one third of between eight and 12. So 1.33 plus eight is 9.33 ounce. So this is this is where I would put the level. There's a little froth, I'm, I'm neglecting the froth. And then the level of the juice itself, the red portion, that that's to me is the juice. So I would say 9.33 ounce, okay? So 9.33 ounces output of Omega 365 cold press. Okay, keep going. All right, now I'm gonna be juicing uh, Ome um, Puram S200. Let's see. See, beauty of this is you can put the whole thing in it. See, you don't have to really cut it. Had there been a big block of um, pie, um, uh, uh, watermelon, had there been a big blob of watermelon, you gotta put the entire blob here without any issues. So there is a cutter in it. It kind of cuts it first. That's there right in the shoe. It cuts it. And then, then the whole strainer and all that in the juice chamber. So all that is down here. And I'm, by the way, I'm using uh, It's really, 
it is a little slow, I know, but in Huram H200, you will notice uh, it takes a lot of time to process. But the good thing is, you can just put everything in the chute and leave. Come back after five minutes, turn off the juicer, and you should be good to go. I wish it had a timer, but that's beyond that's, that's beyond the discussion. I'm only going to evaluate it on the basis of how much juice do they extract. And you'll be amazed at the results. You will be truly amazed. This is a drip proof, drip proof uh, cover. So the juice can keep collecting here. And uh, the advantage is, you know, towards the end of the thing, you know, if, you know, you can keep it running and you can just, let's say you want to pour the juice out of this to some other tumbler, then you can, uh, then you can just close it temporarily. Froth is at 10 level and this is 5. So if I go, I mean, like this is 2 and a half. So, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 100, so about 66. So this is about 266 ml. Okay. And this one is also at 266 ml, actually. They both same? Yeah. But is this pulpy? How much pulp is inside this? So this one is, since we, so as you see, the amount of juice is extracted of same quantity is same. Can we say that? Is yes. it same? Yes. Okay. And I'll tell you something very interesting. In case of body part, um, the difference in the juice was up to 60%. So we got three ounces in case of Puram S200. And in case of Omega, we got... No. We got eight. five ounces and then we got eight ounces in case of Hura Mesh, uh, sorry, Omega. So eight ounces in Omega, five ounces in Hura. And uh, so that was 60% more than Hura. Omega extracted more juice in case of Water Guard, much, much more, almost 60% more. I can do the same test with Ash Guard then. Yeah. Let's see. We can use 500 gram of both and then see which one extracts more. Now we're going to be evaluating this on the amount of juice they would extract out of Ash Guard. And how much quantity have we taken? 342? Yeah. 342 grams of okay. ash quad in both the cups. We had to cut it more because this has a small shoot. Kuram, on the other hand, has a very big shoot. You can put the entire thing here, actually. You can put the entire, pretty much, pineapple here. Cut pineapple here. But anyway, um, but today, uh, we're not gonna be talking about anything else. My main focus is to, um, to determine the amount of juice that, that, that these would extract. Omega 360, 365 cold press versus Quran S200 um, Easy Clean. Okay, that's the name. S200 Easy Clean. And I'm using the fine strainer on it. They have two strainers, coarse and fine. I'm using fine strainer. I earlier used coarse strainer. It didn't come out to be. It was too pulpy. I didn't like it. So there was no juice I was, I was, I was drinking. I was doing a lot of pulp. So I'm just going with fine strainer this time. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start the Huram thing first. Just put everything in here. That's the beauty of Huram. Um, so I'm, I, I can just leave it. Like if, if I put let's say full family worth of you know, juicing here and then just some stuff here, I can just leave it and then it will keep on going. Whereas this one needs constant attention. Right? So this is going on the side. I'm going to start working on this one. trick here in Omega, one of the things I've observed is that you, 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 can, you can put the pole back in and it extracts a lot of juice in the second, I gotta re-juice it.
Leave it now. Sure. Now measure them out. I'm gonna put this juicer like this. And then now. A little bit above 8 ounce. Can we say that? Yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit above 8 ounce. It is, you can say, 250 ml. Yes. And this one is. This one too. In fact, I. Yeah. Yeah, 250. How do you know? Uh, ah, this is 200. This is two. Yeah. And then in between these two and is. Three. This is three. Okay, this so I'll show like this. This is three. Okay. And this is two. So it's. Two fifty. Yeah. This is this also, also two fifty. Right. We have almost two hundred grams of three hundred each. Three hundred grams of cucumber and three hundred grams of celery. Similarly, we have three hundred grams of cucumber here. Three hundred grams of celery. Now, remember, cucumber is heat. How this is not cut, whereas this it, this has to be cut to be put in the shoot here because of the small size of shoot. Anyway, again, that is not important. Important thing is how much juice do we get out of the same amount of produce. All right, I'm gonna just uh, load this one. And another thing is you don't have to attend to that because the shoot is big, you can just pour everything in and then leave it. And this one, you have to put it one by one. It takes a little longer, I almost felt that. This one takes a little lesser. I'm gonna do one thing, very, one, some very special thing. I'm gonna be rejuicing the pulp. So that's a very important step for Omega. If you do that, you get a lot better yield. So I'm gonna put it back. Need to repulp this one, reduce this one. So the amount of juice that you get out of this one is this and the one that you get out of this is right here. This one is six, 500 approximately. Yeah. 500, not approximately, actually 500. Whereas this one, 500, 400, this is 400 mark. This is 500 marks, the juice is just a tad bit less. Less than 500, whereas this is at 500. So the performance of cucumber and celery is also same. Pretty much same exact amount of juice. Huram gives you tad bit lesser. How much percentage wise lesser? So if I were to see, uh, initially, so this is five. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is, where is four? Okay, can you show me light? Uh, mm, maybe three. Maybe 10 ml less. 10 ml less? Very yeah, little less. Very, very little. little. Yeah. Right? So, so, so it's approximately the same. Yeah. So basically, juicing wise, they are same. 
in omega you have to re reduce it right you have to reduce it so we we did the test on watermelon ash quad we did the test test on cucumber celery everything this means they both yield have the same yield so so but for now celery and cucumber have the same exact yield 150 juicer so this has a little advantage to it and remember there are many versions of huram huram 100 huram match those have smaller shoots. So shoot wise, they'll be having the same functionality, same amount of convenience. Convenience wise, you have to go either Huram S200, uh, but again, juice capacity wise, both are the same. There's no doubt about this. So today we're gonna to be, now we're gonna be squeezing kale. I've taken one packet of kale. It's a 283 gram packet, 10 ounce exactly. So, so I've taken two packets, so one here and one here, they're pre-cut and everything. Um, so again, good thing about Huram is you can load everything in it at one go and then you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna just put everything in it. You keep on, you just leave it like this, you know, and then you're good to go. You keep on taking the juice out. You can leave it. There is here you need constant attention. No juice, no juice, all right. All right, so this one is kale. This one is from 10 ounce of, all right. So we got almost, can we say 11? It's not a bin between 8 and 12. I'm talking MLs. This is 400. This is very close to 400. Oh my God. And this was just over 300. So maybe say 325. Can we say 320, 315? More like 320, 315, yeah. And this this is 400 mark. Okay. And this is very close to. So greens are much better than Huram. So greens are much better than Huram. So Huram wins. In the battle of the juicers, Kuram wins. In terms of, so basically, I want to share something with you. We took the, uh, so we, we are using a fine strainer. If you're using the fine strainer, then the juice, um, the quantity of juice is much different. And, but if you use, uh, let's say, coarse strainer, the amount of juice is very, very less. You'll be surprised how less it is. We were surprised to, I, I can tell you that we, we took the juice of Bordeaux Guard only using the coarse strainer. And the amount of juice that came out was was the amount of juice in Omega was 60% more than the amount of juice that came out of Huram X200. We got only three, uh, sorry, five ounces of juice from Huram X200 for a certain amount of produce. 
for the same amount of produce, same amount of bottle guard, we we got eight ounces of of juice here. But in case of kale, this is a clear winner, and fine strainer is what we are supposed to use. When we use fine strainer on ash guard, kale, cucumber, and celery, we feel that it is much better.